Hello. In this video, we are going to look at the Finn Coder model of innovation competence and learn how it originated. We'll start by defining innovation. This is not something we have come up with ourselves or the Finn Coder group has decided on. It's a definition of innovation competence which already exists and is used in the research literature, in practice and in companies. So for our purposes in this course, a person's innovation competence is his or her ability to create in order to introduce or to adapt or to implement something new. This could be an idea, a procedure, a new way of doing things, a new sequence of doing things, eliminating steps in a process, or incorporating new steps, or combining the steps in a different way. So that we end up with a device, a product, a service, a process, or any other thing that is new in the company. So, although on one hand, innovation has to do with the appearance of something new, it can also refer to an improvement of what already exists. And this could be a product, or a service, or a procedure. Any modification in these could be an innovation, providing that this new element results in some benefit for the people, for the people or actors involved in the process. So, uh, it could be the individual workers in an organization who end up with better e equipment, it could be a department, or it could be the organization as a whole. It may be for customers, or for the environment, or for whatever criteria we want to take. So, innovation is the application of something new, or an improvement in what already exists. But in any case, it must re result in some benefit. There are three stages in the innovation process. A generation or creation phase, an implementation phase, where decisions have to be made, and a result stage. If these three phases are not completed, we're not talking about the kind of innovation we're interested in in this course. So, now we know what innovation is, I can show you the components of a person's innovation competence. This is the model that we have created in the FinCoder project. This is a European project set up to explore the components of innovation competence based on creativity, on critical thinking, that is the capacity to assess different alternatives, on initiative, especially with regard to the implementation of ideas, on the ability to work in a team, and on the ability to network with people from outside our team. These are the five components of the FinCoder model of innovation. And now you may be wondering who or what FinCoder is. Well, in this project we are five universities who for three years have been working on this project funded by the European community. The academic institutions involved are the University of Hamburg, the University of Utrecht, the University of Turku, Manchester Metropolitan University and us, the Polytechnic University of Valencia. In addition to the five universities, a number of companies of various sizes that have, have collaborated very strongly in the project. These include Schneider Electric, which is a multinational company in the electronics sector, with a factory in Valencia. Among other things, they produce electronic devices for security and control of electrical installations. Celestica is another multinational. They make integrated circuits, motherboards and other components and design, assemble and repair circuits. Another large company is Elomatic, which is a Finnish company. Elomatic is an engineering consultancy engaged in a lot of different projects and which offers many products and services. And in case you're thinking that this model of innovation is only for large companies whose policy it is to constantly innovate, 
We also have some small and medium-sized companies in the FinCODA project. One of these is JCS, a British company based in Manchester, dedicated to the installation of high-tech measuring instruments. Another is Carter Corson, a small human resources consultancy, who select and train personnel. A third small company is Lactoprot. Based in Germany, they specialize in extracting milk protein and related products. So, we have large and small companies, but they all recognize the need for innovation and the importance that innovation has for their products, services and for their business. So, to summarize, I've explained the model of innovation that we'll use throughout the course. I've outlined its five components and I've given you a little bit of background to the FinCODA project. If you're interested in knowing more about the project, you can find further information in the reference shown here.